Hi, kids. It's Mr. Rezac. And how are you doing today? Um, well, today we are going to do something very cool. We are going to create a very simple web page. And we are going to take our hero project and or our inventor project, what are, uh, the presentation that you've been working on, and we're going to put it in there. Um, very fun, exciting. So this tutorial, uh, if you've never watched a tutorial before, there's something you should be very careful, uh, I should say careful, but very aware of, and that is the awesome thing you can do is you can pause it and you can rewind it. So if you need to go over it again and see something again, pause it, rewind it, and you're gonna be uh, good to go. All right, are you ready? Cool, the first thing you need to do is you need to log in to docs.d30.me. These are your Google Docs. And you press enter or return. It's going to ask you to sign in. And I'm going to use a student account for this example. But first name, last name. And I'm going to stay signed in right there. Awesome. Now, the top of my docs has my presentation that I've been working hard on. And I'm gonna click on that and open up my George Washington report. Now keep in mind, up here, here, do you guys know what these are? These are tabs. And what's nice is I can go back to my docs list, I can go back to my presentation if I click on the tab, or I can click on this plus button, which is what you're gonna wanna do, and you're gonna want to open a new tab. All right, now I'm gonna open a new tab and then go to a different website called tinyurl.com. And I gotta find this forward slash button. And now I'm going to put in schoolhouse30. Now pause it if you need to take a moment to do that and then start playing once you've got those tabs open on your browser. Press enter. Awesome. Now I'm going to go back to my George Washington report right here and get it ready for publishing. Okay, so here I am in my George Washington report. Now mine was just an example, so mine's not complete. Uh, but what I do want to do is I'm going to go over here to file and I'm going to click on file and I'm going to scroll down here to where it says to where it says publish to the web right there I want to click on that and it's going to give me some options here all right I do not want to click on this button I'm going to just start publishing and I do want to publish my document because it's all ready great now leave that page just as it is without doing anything. All right, we're gonna come back to this page. Back to the Lighted Schoolhouse link page, okay? Now. Okay, you've made it to this page, which is awesome. So what you're gonna wanna do is click on the teacher uh, of your class and click on the button for them. In this case, I'm gonna click on Ms. Stamudis. Awesome. Now here's the deal is I'm not signed into this page so I can't actually edit this page. Um, but on the bottom of this page, it says to sign in. So I have to click on that and do, bingo, it signs me in. And here I am, I'm a student and I'm ready to go. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to create your very own page under Ms. Demudis' button. And to do that, we're going to go over here to where it says New Page. So what are you going to do? You're going to click on it. New Page. Name your page. And in this case, I'm going to name this page Jane C. No last names, just first name, last initial. And I'm going to make it a web page. Here's a real important part. I want to make sure I click this little button here that says put page under Stamudis. If I don't do that, it'll get sorted all weird and I don't want that to happen. So I click that button 
that stays and I've got my first name and last initial. Click create. Awesome. You are almost ready to put your presentation into your very own web page. Here's what we're going to do. Remember this tab up here that said um, George Washington Report? Got to click back over onto that tab. Now I'm going to go down and I'm going to open up this code. Now this is gobbledygook code. This is what we call web, you know, this is code for the web. Um, and so we have to paste this into the other site very carefully. All right. All I want to do is copy it. So I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to copy it. I can go up here to edit and copy. Or some of you use Command C, which is one of my favorite ways to do it. So I've copied that code. Now I'm going to go paste it into my new web page. Here I am. Now wait, I can't just paste it into this box. I'm going to have to click one button, one very special button over here called the HTML button. And that's very cool. And someday if you're, when you create your own web pages, uh, you're probably going to use that a lot. So click on that button and then we have to paste. So some of us use Command V or we go to edit and we go to paste that way. It's up to you. You can do it either way. I'm going to click update. Now wait, I'm not going to touch anything because um, what it did is it inserted a little gadget. Now I want to click save. Now watch what happens when I hit save. Wow, that looks awesome. And I've got my very own page right under Miss Stamudis' class. And here's my presentation. And all I have to do now is click right through it and everybody can see my slides and it will be shared and look beautiful for, uh, for Lighted Schoolhouse. Now, if you need to watch this again and go over it, go ahead. Uh, but congratulations, you've just done one thing You've created a web page and you have embedded your project inside that web page. All right? Good luck and have fun.